Hey guys, what's up? Eli here. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about hand, how to handle objection and rejection from your friends, from your family members, from your loved ones, and from keyboard warriors, those people that you have never even met. So when I first started out with my online business, I faced a lot of objection and rejection from people who I loved, people who I knew, people who were close friends and family to me. I faced real hard uh, rejection from the girl who the, the girl who I was dating at the time. We had been dating for quite a few years. Um, and when I started my online business, I started to make some mental shifts in how I was thinking, how I was acting uh, for the better, but she was starting to view me as a different person. As a result, she didn't really understand what it was I was trying to do, what I was trying to achieve. Um, and our relationship ended as a result of me trying to better myself. Now that was really hard for me, but that was not the only uh, rejection and objection that I faced. I also faced a lot from my own family. My parents, when I first started doing business, they thought I joined a cult. They thought they were really concerned about my welfare. They thought what's he gotten into? Has he got into some pyramid scheme where they're trying to brainwash him? Um, they really concerned and it got to the point where they didn't want to hear about it. Like I was really excited about it and I was talking about it quite a bit, but it got to the point where they were just so concerned about, they thought I was joining a cult or something and they just didn't want to hear from me at all. And that was really hard. So not only had I been, you know, I lost my relationship with my partner at the time. I also really lost uh, for a good chunk of it, my relationship with my parents because they didn't understand or really want to understand what I was doing because they were so concerned about it. They just decided to just put their blinders on and hopefully ignore what it, what it is that I was trying to do. Uh, they hoped that I would just kind of snap out of it. Um, you know, I also faced a lot of rejection from my friends. I lost a lot of friends when I first started my online business. They thought I was like in way too deep. They were really concerned for me. Some people just thought I went a bit mental and they just stopped talking to me altogether. And that was really hard too. So I lost my relationship with my partner. I lost a, a quite a significant portion of my relationship with my parents at the time. And I lost a lot of friends from it as well because they thought uh, I was going a bit, a bit cuckoo and they were talking behind my back about me, about thinking I was going a bit crazy. Now, another thing that I've faced recently as well is keyboard warriors, okay? These people who have never met me, who I have never met, and these people will see a post, see a comment, and they will just spit hate and spit fire at things that I post. And that is something that I've recently started to experience at just people who I've never met before um, who are just like, fully hating on me uh, for stuff that I for stuff that I post and I don't know these people and they don't know me. And these people are keyboard warriors. They're saying like really mean things. Um, and the thing is, the thing is that I've really realized is the people that do that are people who will never find success with their own business because the people who are actually finding success they will never try and tear somebody else down to feel better about themselves. They will always try and become better themselves. But there's a good saying, uh, it's going around a little bit at the moment, there's two ways to build the tallest building in town. One is to just focus on building the tallest building, and that is what I'm doing. I'm just focusing on myself, on my business, and trying to provide value, uh, like this video for example, and I'm trying to build the tallest building. The other way to build the tallest building is to tear down all of the buildings around them. And that's what these people who are spitting fire, spitting hate are trying to do. They see somebody who is trying to take action, trying to, you know, further themselves. And what do they do? Instead of trying to further themselves, they just try and tear down the other tall buildings around them. And that's really the wrong way to go about it. And that's why these people, I actually feel really sorry for these keyboard warriors uh, who just are really mean, uh, like I feel really bad for them because I know that they're not experiencing any success and nor will they ever because their mindset is so broken. 
Now, I wanna talk a little bit about how I actually went about handling rejection from my loved ones uh, and my, my partner, my family, and my friends. So that was really hard. I, I couldn't, I honestly don't give a shit about what somebody that I don't think, who I don't know what they think about me because I feel sorry for them, like, like I just mentioned. But when it comes to people that you really know and care about, that's a lot different, that's a lot harder to actually move past. And a reason I really wanna talk about this is because once you start going down this path, there's a good chance that you're gonna experience some of this as well. And this isn't easy for me to talk about because this is quite personal. Um, but I know that it can help, hopefully it can help some of you guys because if you're serious about your business, uh, you're gonna go down some of these rabbit holes and people are gonna judge you for it. Now, how did I handle my relationship with my partner? Well, and with my parents and with my friends. So the thing is, I have to do what makes me feel happy, and so do you. You have to just focus on what actually makes you happy, what do you wanna do? And don't let anyone else's opinion, regardless of if they're your friends or family member, um, or anyone you know, or anyone even you don't know, don't let anyone else's opinion influence your happiness and your decisions, okay? So you have to do whatever it is that makes you happy. For me, Building a business, building something sustainable, something that is mine, that makes me really happy. And I really enjoy filming videos like this. I enjoy working on my businesses. Uh, I enjoy e-commerce. I enjoy my affiliate marketing business. Uh, I enjoy my consulting business. I really enjoy just building different business models. And that's what I enjoy doing. And it's got to the point now where regardless of who it is that I'm actually talking to, I don't. I like, I respect them and I respect their opinion, but at the same time, I don't give a shit about what they think of me. And when you stop giving a shit about what other people think of you, you get, you're in a really powerful position because that, that like freedom, when you stop caring what other people think, that allows you to start moving, start taking action. For example, I never used to post business stuff on my social media. Because I was always afraid when I started out what people would think of me, what people on my Facebook would think of me, uh, the people that I did know. And I'm at the point now where I just don't care. All right? I don't care because I know that um, I actually have mo more, than, more than not, more than not of the, a lot of the people on my, my social media pages right now, I don't really know these people. These people aren't actually my close friends and family. Uh, I use my social media pages, my Facebook, uh, Instagram, all of that stuff. It's more of a business tool than my how most people use their social media. For me, it's more of a, it's more of the sales process, um, not like how other people might use Facebook just for hanging out. No, I don't really use it for that. I use it as a business tool. Okay, I use it more as a producer and less as a consumer. And I just really wanna get across that like whatever other people think of you, whether it's your friends, whether it's your family members, whether it's someone who is you don't know and they're just being really mean and cruel about what they're posting because they're behind a computer screen, they're on a keyboard, don't take it to heart because these people are, one, they don't understand what it is you're trying to do. Two, they, they're concerned about you, okay? So one, and the, the, the haters, like just don't worry about them. They're just trying to tear down the tallest buildings. So don't worry about them, but the people who you actually know and care about, they're concerned about you. And I understand that my friends and my family were concerned about me, but you have to recognize that they don't really understand what it is you're trying to do, and they probably never will. Okay, and that's fine. Most of my friends now, they really still have no idea what it is that I'm actually doing or trying to achieve, okay? And anything that they think about me or my parents think about me, you just put it aside and you keep moving. Don't give a shit. The only people who you should care about the opinions of are the people who are where you want to be. That's the only people who I really take to heart their advice because they are where I want to be. And if I'm going down the wrong track, then I need their, their advice, their opinions, and I listen to them because they are where I want to be. But my parents, my friends, uh, these people on the internet that I've never met, 
they're not where I want to be. So I don't listen to them. And that's what I really encourage you to do as well. That is how the best way to handle the objection and rejection of your friends, family members, uh, loved ones, and you know those keyboard warriors that you've never met. Another great way to do it as well, and this is <laughs> this is actually a little bit more fun of a way, is to just freaking crush it. Okay, just seriously start making a crap ton of money, a crap ton of success, and a crap ton of noise. These people will start scratching their heads and be like what is he actually doing? Maybe he's not joining a cult. Maybe he's actually okay. And he actually knows what he's doing. And that's what I've done. And that's, you know, how I got my family back in when they saw like I was absolutely doing the, like really good with e-commerce. It's gone from them not wanting to talk to me about e-commerce to actually me teaching them how to build their own e-commerce store. There was a point when, my, when my, my parents were actually handling some of my customer service when my VA went on holidays. These people come back to you when they see you doing really well. But at the same time, that's fine for your parents, but maybe for some of your friends who if they're really mean to you, you don't have to take them back, okay? If it's not a healthy relationship, if these people uh, are all negative and just trying to take you down still, get rid of them because that's not good for you, okay? You have to be in a positive environment. You have to separate yourself from the noise. Stop giving a shit what other people think about you and keep moving forward hard and fast, fail fast, fail forward, keep moving, okay? The people who are trying to tear you down, the people who are trying to chain you and, and stop you from moving, these people aren't where you want to be. Okay, they're not where you want to be. And that's something that I've really learned and I'm really, really just, I don't care what anybody thinks of me like anymore. And that is such a powerful position to be in. So I really encourage you to try and do the same. Focus on listening to people who are where you want to be and anyone who is not where you want to be, don't listen to them at all. Don't listen to them. Understand where they're coming from. Understand the haters are probably not having any success in their business. And when they see somebody who is having some success, they're trying to tear them back to where they are. Understand your friends and your family are concerned and they don't really understand what is going on, but just keep pressing forward. Understand where these people are coming from, but don't give a shit about actually what it is that they are saying. You know what you're doing, keep moving forward. And that is it for this video, guys. If you need any help at all moving forward in your business, I do recommend to schedule a call with me. We can talk about how to move forward in your business, how to make that money that gets your parents going or your friends going, what is going on? This person isn't crazy, they know exactly what it is they are doing. And that's it for this video, guys. Schedule a call if you are interested. Don't buy it at all, just be a friendly chat. And that's it, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.